and welcome all. Today we are going to be going over Rainbow Six Siege's support role. So quickly like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get straight into the video. First let's go over what operators are support role. For the tech we have your hard breaches and anti-electrics like Fetcher, Thermite, Hibana and Maverick and Ace. And on defense we have your anchors like Echo, Maestro, Dark, Rook, Mirror etc. So first let's go over support on attack. Now your first role as a support on a tank is going to be to go ahead and drone out the map to help your teammates gather map control. Then this is simply going to be going ahead and pre-placing drones or droning in your teammates as they go into the building and ensuring that everything is safe where they are pretty much. And if not then communicating to them where that danger is, where that operator is or shield is or util whatever. So now that you've gone ahead and ensured that your teammates are safe and have gained a little bit of map control, you can go ahead and start working on them walls or hatches to get into sight. Now your main goal here is pretty much to keep you and your drones alive. This will help you to continually provide your team with info and support and util, as the name of the role suggests. Now that you've gathered that information on site and have made your opening by putting pressure on them by breaching walls and creating yourself an opening, your new goal is to start planning. This will make yours and your team's new objective to stop the enemy from defusing, thus hopefully winning you the round. Now, support on defense. Similar to support on attack, your main goal here is going to be pretty much to stay alive for as long as possible again. As support on defense, you're going to be playing mostly on site, so if you die it will give the enemy team an opening to take site and will force your entire team to have to go for a retake, lowering your chances of winning. Now if you're enjoying the video so far and finding it pretty informative, then make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as it really helps me out. But back onto the video. So, as the support on defense, your main goal besides staying alive is going to be to deny the support on attack very much. And what I mean by this is you're using your utility to deny them taking sight, opening walls and getting the plant out. As well as this, you'd need to again mirror the role on attack support, which is to provide your teammates with intel. And this could be via your ability if you're playing someone like Echo, or even just camps. I mean, as Tesco says, every little helps. So to just quickly sum up the support role on defense, stay alive and use your utility like smokes and shields to deny them taking sight or getting the plant down. Or alternatively, if you're playing a support like Kate, then your goal is to stop them getting the wall edges. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the role of support on attack and defense. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and hit me up with a like and subscribe because I really appreciate that. And maybe you could even drop a comment or share with a friend. But yeah, that's all for now. Go out and have a great day. Peace.